Hi, I'm Megan Fox, and I'm here with Who, What, Where, and I'm about to take a little trip down fashion memory lane. Megan Fox, despite being one of the largest sex symbols in Hollywood, suffers from body dysmorphia. Since she was a little girl, before she was a famous actress and model, Fox felt that her body had to look a certain way. This led to a lifetime of insecurities and trauma, which the actress is still dealing with to this very day. Fox is publicly known for being a little out there with the way she dresses and her behavior, but she felt for a long time that she had to shelter that aspect of herself from the world. Congratulations, as Colton just put it, hot. What do you feel? Um, I, I was just saying I'm really introverted, so I always feel nervous and kind of overwhelmed until I get to like a safe, quiet space, and then I... Um, not when I was little, I was saying that that's not something I even like really conceptualized when I was young, but as I realized like I'd been in this industry for so long, I was like, what are some things I want to do? Though she has begun to embrace that side of her and dress how she wants, no matter the comments on social media, Fox still has trouble viewing her body the way everyone else does. Here's how Fox has struggled with body dysmorphia and her journey to self-love. According to the public, Fox had it all, a stunning body and perfect face. Behind closed doors, however, Fox was suffering horribly from body dysmorphia. I'm really surprised at like the cult following. I don't even know if it's cult anymore. It's grown so, so much. It keeps having like a new resurgence and a new rebirth. Like teenage girls now are just discovering it and are in love with it. It's more relevant now, I think, than it was then when it first came out. It was so far ahead of its time. Body dysmorphia is defined as a mental illness when a person has an obsessive focus on perceived flaw. This can cause the person to not view their appearance the same way others do. In other words, they may perceive themselves to be hideous when in reality that is not the case. What Megan Fox has said about her body? Megan Fox has continued the conversation about her mental health since first opening up to the public in 2021 about her body dysmorphia. In 2023, alongside other famous women such as Martha Stewart, Fox was on the cover of the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit magazine. Alongside the cover shoot, Fox gave an interview in which she talked a great deal about her body and how she feels about it now. That's why I'm, I'm extremely introverted and I don't do a lot of events. Um, it, it, it's really hard for me. This morning was really hard for me, like working myself up into knowing where I was coming and what I was going to do. And it's also when you have to live that as a celebrity. I have body dysmorphia, the actress said outright once again. I don't ever see myself the way other people see me. There is never a point in my life where I love my body, never, ever. Hearing Fox say these words shocked fans, because according to the public, Fox is a beautiful woman. It was shocking for fans of Fox to learn that she too has struggled with her appearance. Being a sex symbol for the world does not mean that she always feels beautiful. How Megan Fox is overcoming her insecurities Megan Fox mentioned in her interview with Sports Illustrated that loving herself and her body is going to be a lifelong venture, and that is certainly true. Body dysmorphia is not an easy mental illness to overcome. Many spend years in therapy attempting to view themselves the way the rest of the world does. Other actresses, even, have opened up about feeling insecure about their body. Fox herself is embodying this notion by continuing to discuss her body dysmorphia. By opening up, she is not only allowing herself to heal, but also allow others to feel more comfortable discussing it. Fox attributes a lot of her growth, specifically in opening up her personality, to her fiancé Machine Gun Kelly.